Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Unspeed Action Channel. Of course, you're back with another video. Now, yes, I know I've been gone a long time, and yes, I know I look like a can of opened baked beans or a tomato because I'm so red because I was in the sun. I've been gone a while. I've been up to stuff. I've been busy, but now we're back in the NF grind. And you know what? It's been a little minute, but I'm kind of happy I took a little break from NF because it makes me so much more excited to get back into it. That's the thing. I might have finished the NF journey by now. If I stuck to it, I probably would have finished the NF journey by now. But I'm kind of glad I haven't. Because although I want to hear all his music, I still have shit to look forward to. So I'm kind of glad I prolonged it a little bit and set it aside while I'm doing other things. I got to appreciate his first two albums. Uh, the Mansion and Therapy Sessions, which we're doing Therapy Sessions uh, tier list today. But very soon, we will be moving on to the next album. Don't worry, it will be very soon. And then we can continue the journey. But hey. We gonna be doing therapy sessions album today. First of all, hope y'all enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into. It. Okay, so before we get into, it, obviously we gotta introduce the tiers. We basically got the same tiers as last time. We got the top tier, which is S tier, which is this is it. This means this is the top of the album. This is the songs I will listen to and repeat. I think of the best. Sounding wise, flow wise, bar wise, all of that. This is the top rank. This is it, literally at the very top. Then we move on to A tier, which is straight to the playlist, which means it is not goat, goat, goat tier, but it is straight to the playlist because it is going to be on repeat. It is the fucking shit, and I'm going to listen to it constantly. Then we move on to B tier, and that is it's just all right. It's one of those songs. I'll listen to it. If you put it on, I'll enjoy it. But I ain't going to go out of my way and choose it over the ones above it. So it's just all right. Then we move on to C tier. And that is not my thing. That can be any song that I don't think is really that good. But It's not terrible, but it's not that good. Or I can see why people like it, but it's not my type of thing. I can understand it. I can appreciate it, but it's not my music that I would listen to type of thing. Basically, how I explain that tier list. And then we move on to the last, which is trash, garbage, Shh. not good. <laughs> not good. From the Mansion album, not a single one went into the trash one. And I don't believe a single one will go into the trash one here. But without further ado, let's get into it and let's see if that opinion changes. So let's go. First up, we got the song Intro 2. Now, this song is literally where he got on. The beat was nice. The flow was nice. I like this one because he came in. And he basically just came in and he said, Hey, this is my second time around. I made the Manson album. The Manson album was viewed very highly. People are saying, this is your second time around. You cannot top that. He said, this may only be my second time around. But I'm going to prove that I can top that. I'm going to come in, I'm going to release this album, you're going to be like, oh shit, he's getting better. He said, if you want me to tell you shit that ain't true, you're coming to the wrong person. I'm going to say it how it is, I say the facts, I don't lie, I don't tiptoe around it, I don't do any of that shit. I say it how it is, and that is it. He got emotional on it whenever he said, I remember the times whenever I used to go to shows and there'd be no fans, like I did not have fans to support me to make this career. I was literally fighting grinding my fucking ass off to try and make this my career, to get people to support me, to get fans so I could turn this into what made me money to help me pay my rent. I remember those times. This song is not my favourite song, but I enjoy it. But I don't listen to it the most consistently, so it's going to go in B. It is alright, but it's going to go to the top of alright because although it is just alright, I do enjoy it. I just don't think it will be as high as some of the songs in the straight to the playlist but honestly i think b tier is quite good the top of the b tier in my personal opinion is where it belongs next up we got i just want to know now this overall song uh is a, just about him reflecting on his past relationship um and all the mistakes he made and basically just where he lost control of this relationship and what all went wrong um this one, I like it overall. It's one of those songs that hits you in the feels. If you've been through a, a nasty breakup or if you've had a, if you've been down in the dumps in a, in a relationship in the past and then you've changed, you've realized that, you know, you everybody makes mistakes and you actually hold yourself accountable for the mistakes that you made in that relationship as well. I think you'd find this song very, very relatable because obviously if you're in a relationship, everybody makes mistakes. It takes two to tango. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody fucks up. So I think that this is a good song because he actually looks back on it. He says, right, I made, I made mistakes. I'm reflecting on it. I'm owning up to it. 
I, this is where I lost control of my relationship and I didn't know. And I thought it was a good song. Again, not my favourite song. It's going to go in It's Alright as well. Because, see, here's the thing I always want to point out. See any songs that's in It's Alright, I still listen to. I will just not listen to as much as the ones in S tier or A tier. But I will still listen to them. If I'm listening through the playlist... They will still, like, I'll still listen to them. I just won't repeat, repeat, repeat. Because there's some songs I just keep on repeat one again, again, again. This wouldn't be one that's on constant repeat. But it is in the playlist. I'm going to react to it. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to like it. So, you know, it ain't even a bad tier to be on. Because it's still there. But it's going right and it's all right. Because it still is a good song. Next song up, we got NF Real. Now, I actually really, really like this one. Because this one has fast rap. Fast bars, fast beat. This one has it all, and it even talks his shit on it. And I like whenever NF gets on a song and talks his shit and puts people in their place. And you know the perfect example of this is there's a bar that says, "What is it?" Let me check my phone real quick. So the bar says, "You're better off playing Russian roulette than coming in the booth with me," because I'm like, "Who's next?" He said, "Hey, you're better off playing Russian roulette and surviving that way than coming in the booth with me." Because if you come in the booth with me, it's guaranteed I'ma kill you. I'ma take you out. You don't stand a chance, type shit. I like emotional NF where he talks about the real shit that's happening in his life. But I also like whenever he gets on a beat and goes, "Do you know what? These motherfuckers think just because I rap about real shit, they forget." That I got bars too. And I can talk my shit too. So I gotta show them. And he reminds them. And that's why I like. And I really fucking like this song. And this is why Real is going straight into the playlist. That is the tier it's going in. I listen to this constantly. It gets me hyped up. It makes me want to go to the gym. Honestly. Like generally. Some of NF songs. Like the hype ones. Just make you pumped. You want to go play basketball. You want to go to the gym. You actually want to just be active as shit. And this is one of them. Like I said. I just like the fact that he just reminds people. A. Hey, I may be a nice person, I may be a good person, I may be a man of God, I may have been through a lot of emotional shit, but I still got fucking bars, and here is some of them, and he just throws them in, and that is why Real is going in straight to the playlist. Next up, we got NF, oh lord, now this is another one where he talks about, obviously, his religion and his belief in Christ, and the fact that he says in it, which I actually, although I'm not religious myself, I actually agree with, and he says in it, we only ever pray to God when we want something. We don't go out of our way to pray to him every single night like you should. Ask him for guidance, ask him for forgiveness, do all that. You only go to him and pray to him when you need something. When something's gone wrong in your life and you need him to fix it, you go to him. When everything's going right, you don't go to him. And he also admits, he goes, I'm also, uh, I'm also responsible for that because I've also did it too. You know, I've only went to God whenever I've needed help. I haven't actually, like, prayed when I should have, when I was at my house, I forgot I even assisted at those points, and I, I just didn't go to him, and I like that reflection from NF, because he says, look, although I am a man of God, sometimes we get lost in our own mind, and sometimes I make mistakes, and he owns up to it, and what I like about that is, obviously, he believes in God, he believes God forgives you for your mistakes, especially when you try to own up, so he's like, I may have made these, but he's not mad. He's going to forgive me because I've owned up to them. I'm coming forward. And he's saying, you know, we all got to stop doing this type shit where we only go there whenever we need him. And we'll go there whenever we're at our highs too instead of just at our lows. But their overall song as well. The the overall song, the meaning, it all is great. Like I said, I'm not a religious person. But you don't have to be religious to appreciate this song. I really heavily enjoy the song. I think it's one of the best, best sounding songs. Um... Although I don't really, although I don't really, uh, how do I say it? Although I don't relate to the message like some would, I can still appreciate. This is one of those ones I can still appreciate how good it is. But I like the sound of it so much, it can't just go in all right. It can't just go in all right because I like the sound of it so much. So it's got to go in straight to the playlist because I do listen to it on repeat. Regardless, it is very catchy, it is very good, and I, I like the message of it, and it definitely will help open the eyes to other people who, you know, believe in God that maybe have gotten lost and maybe take it for granted, and, you know, NF basically says in a song along those lines as well of, look, we only live once, set yourself up for success, be positive, go out for a smile on your face, be nice to people, work hard, and just live your life, because if we only get one chance on this earth, don't waste it. And I 100% agree with that message. So, straight to the first.
straight to the past. Next up, we got NF statement. This is another one where he talks his shit. He comes in, he raps, he talks his shit, he lets people know how it is, but he also gets a bit emotional on it, which I agree with, and I actually like the mix of it. He talks his shit, but then he also comes in and he speaks about his passion for music, and he says, look, some people do music for fun. They come in, they do music for fun, and that's it. They do it as a hobby. They just do it to pass the time. I do it because I'm obsessed, because I love this shit. I do it because this is the thing that kept me going when I couldn't afford my rent, when I had the car. Like, he said in a different song, I, I can't remember what song it was, but he said that he could only drive his car at night because it would break down if he drove it in the daytime because it was so warm. So he said, look, you know, like, I came from nothing, and when I had nothing, the one thing I had was music, and it's not just fun for me, it's a passion, it's something I'm obsessed with, and he showed that in his songs, and I really like this one. I thought originally that I would put Statement in It's Alright, but I would actually put Statement in the bottom of A tier, because I don't think it's above the first two I've put in A tier. I think it's straight to play. I don't think it's above them, but I definitely think it is better than alright. I definitely really like it. I just love that fact where, you know, he just comes out and he says, look, this is my passion. This is what I want. I like the sound of the song, but it's more so the meaning of it that I actually like. If it was the sound of the song, it being top of it's alright. But taking everything into account, I'm putting it in the bottom of A. Uh, but, you know, it's teetering between. But either way, it's a good song. I really enjoy it, and I really like it. Next up, we got NF, Breathe. This one, he comes in and he talks about uh, his mental health being low and the fact that he neglected people, especially his relationship. He didn't realize he was so indulged with his music. He was so indulged and, like, distracted. Well, not distracted, but he was so inside of his own mind with his mental health being so bad that he pushed people away, didn't really give them attention. I uh, just didn't think, okay, I'm going to get help from the people I need most. He kind of just pushed them away and didn't give them a chance. And he did it especially to his relationship. And that's what he talks about in this. I do enjoy this song. It is not one of my favorites, but I do enjoy it. It's going to go to the top of B tier. It's all, it's teeter on It's All Right and Straight to the Playlist because it is in my playlist. But again, it's not one of the top. That's why it's kind of hard to rank some of these. Because every song on the album that I'm thinking of, at least, I listen to. But there's some songs I listen to. I'd say all the songs in A tier and S tier are going to be songs I listen to every couple of days. And all the songs in It's Alright, I still listen to. But I listen to maybe once a week. Once once a week, two times a week, whatever. But all the rest of them, all that, I'll listen to more. So I'm going to put it in B tier. It's alright. I enjoy it. But it ain't one of my favorites. Next up, we got NF, I Can Feel. Now, this is the one I was talking about. It was about his car overheating. This song, I am a big, big fan of this song. Because NF comes in this song, and you can hear the fucking passion in his voice throughout the entire song. You can hear the passion in his voice. Whether it's the rap and whether it's singing, you can hear it. And that's what I really like. I really like when an artist really gets indulged in the music. He doesn't just make it for it to sound good as well, but he makes it for it to sound, hit home, and relate to people. And to get it off his chest, you can feel that, like I said, it's passionate because it means something. And he speaks about how... He could only drive his car at night time because if he drove it in the daylight, it would overheat and, you know, obviously shut down and shit. So he actually could only drive car at night time. He didn't have money to replace that. Um, about all of his struggles, and then he also says that now he's in a position where labels are trying to sign him. And although he won't sign for labels, he's very thankful. Although it sucked at the time to go through all that shit, he's very thankful for all the shit that he went through because that made him the person he is. That made him a stronger person because he had to get over those struggles to get there, where if he had just got there and didn't go through struggles, his music wouldn't have as much passion, his character wouldn't have as much passion, he wouldn't have got as much character development to get to where he is now. And I just think the overall song's great, the sound of it, the the flow of it, the passion in it. And I'm going to put it at the very top of Straight to the Playlist. Now I know what you're thinking after me explaining all that, you are wondering why it's not an S tier, and I get that. But when I list the songs later on as we come to them, which ones are in S tier, you'll understand why. I definitely, this one realistically should be in S tier. But I just don't think it's as good as the songs I have in S tier in my head. But it is very good. I love it. I love the passion. I love the message. I love the fact he acknowledges I came from struggle. 
and I'm thankful for it. I'm grateful for it. I had to start. You have to go through the storm to appreciate the sunshine. You got to go through the dark tunnel to appreciate the light at the end. You know, like if it, if it's just bright and happy all the time, that shit gets boring. You got to go through the darkness. So when you get into the light, you can appreciate how colorful that shit is. And that's what I appreciate. I like the fact that he actually appreciates that and looks back on it. So it's going to go on the top of A tier. Next up, we got NF. Got you on my mind. He comes in. This is a song he comes in. He sings. He exercises his vocals. I really like the vo the vocals he exercised, and the whole song is basically just him talking about his relationship. Uh, that I'm not sure it ended at that point, but he talked about his relationship and basically said how she's always on his mind, no matter what he does, she's always just there on his mind, and how he regrets basically the things, the mistakes that he made. But the regardless of whether they're arguing or in a good position, she is always on his mind, and he he appreciates that, and he always looks towards that. And I think it's a I think it's a very good song. I would personally put this in A tier because it does go straight to the playlist. I do listen to it quite a lot. And it's funny because this song I'm not as splitting as much as others because I think this is just a very basic one. He talks about his relationship. He talks about how much he loves her. That's all you got to say. Uh, but it definitely goes, the sound of it, the, the, the way he does it, straight to the playlist. Next up, we got NF Wish You Wouldn't. Now, this one is, again, another thing about his relationship where he talks about uh, the struggles he went through, the issues he went through, the fact that he always put work first and he neglected completely what she wanted and what she needed. And he didn't even realize at the time and now he's looking back at it and realizing, oh, shit, like, she... Like, everybody has needs. Everybody has wants. In a relationship, you're a team. There's two of you. It's like, uh, whether it's financially, emotionally, it's not you go out and do this. It's not she goes out and does this. It's not you have to earn the most money. It's not she takes care of the kids. It's you do this. You do that. You take care of the kids. You raise a family. There's two of you. You are a team. You are an individual. And it's basically him just explaining how he didn't understand that. He didn't really acknowledge her needs and wants because he was so focused on work and now he regrets that. Um, and someone actually made a comment, which I actually got up on my phone because I wanted to read it. And it was actually a really good comment for this. Left comment on that video saying, the older I get, the more I understand the relationship is more than holding her hand. That's exactly what this song demonstrates. A lot of people view it as a relationship. It's just, oh, it's all physical. As long as you kiss them, hold their hand, hug them, you're all good. It's not in a relationship. It's not all about physical touch. Sometimes just texting them, letting them know, saying I love you, doing all that, seeing them, even writing a letter, buying them gifts, making them feel better, anything like that. It's a whole bunch of things. Relationships ain't easy. That's why if relationships were easy, everybody would be in a fucking relationship, but they aren't. That's why a lot of people prefer to stay single because relationships take constant work. It's a daily progress to make it better, and it takes a lot of work. Um, so that's why a lot of people are in relationships, but I think that comment sums it up perfectly. The fact that it takes a lot of work. You have to think outside of yourself. You don't have, you can't think about yourself. You have to think about yous together and how yous can be happy together for your, both for y'all future, and that's it. But I definitely enjoy this song. Wish you wouldn't. I would put it in top of B tier though, because I do enjoy the message. I do like the sound of the song, but again, I wouldn't listen to it the same as the others. And it's not his best song about a relationship, I think, personally. Personally, I don't think it's his best song about a relationship, but still good. Still enjoy it. So we got NF All I Do. Now this one, this one's actually one of my fucking favorites. Honestly, NF All I Do. This one gets me hyped as fuck. This one makes me, as I said earlier, want to go to the gym, want to play basketball, want to get up, want to get active. This one gets me fucking hyped. And the thing I like about this one so much is he talks about in it how he can never win, regardless of what he does. Whether he's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. And he compares himself to LeBron in that sense. He actually says it. He goes, I feel like LeBron as the course. He goes, I feel like LeBron, blah, blah, blah. Um, because... You know, LeBron's one of those ones, like, you either love LeBron or you hate him. I don't feel like there's really an in-between. A lot of people hate LeBron, and if LeBron makes a great shot, they'll go, oh, but Michael Jordan would have made that 100 times over and they'll diss him. And then a lot of people obviously, like, love LeBron. But in some people's eyes, LeBron could be the most humble person, do nothing wrong. I'm not saying he is, obviously, but, like, he could be the most humble person, do nothing wrong. 
and people would still hate him. So he said, I feel like LeBron in that sense because I could be right or wrong, but either way, I'm going to get the same reaction, which is fuck you from a lot of people because I, for some reason, I just can't win. But this song's going in A tier. This is going straight to place because this is one of those ones that when I'm playing basketball, when I'm going on a run, when I'm going to the gym, I have it on. This one gets me hyped and I fuck with this one heavy. So straight to play. Next up, we got one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fucking songs on this album. And yes, this is where it starts to get S tier worthy. This is going in S tier. This is NF Lost in the Moment featuring Andres Moss, I believe it is. This one, I genuinely think is a fucking work of art. I genuinely think it is a work of art on this album. I really fucking like this one. It has a motivational reel type beat. It's like that type of beat where instantly the beat plays by itself. You can eh, hit you in the fucking feels. There's the slow, high fast type like vocals and shit they hit those fucking notes they really make you feel the passion behind it it sounds amazing and the overall song just literally to keep it short and sweet as i can it talks about you being lost in the moment and letting time fly by the fact that we're so indulged in the moment and yes live in the moment enjoy the moment but we're so laid back about oh yes but we have tomorrow and we have the day over and we're kind of so involved in living in the moment we're not thinking about you know, what, making progression, you know, a lot of people are thinking, oh yes, I'll do this tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow, but t tomorrow's never promised, you know what I mean, and like, that's why I like this song so much, it basically talks about, a, a lot of people take life for granted, and to put it simply, you're lost in the moment, and you're running out of fucking time, and you're not using your time right, when you could be out there enjoying your life, and when it's all said and done, you have no regrets, where you're going to regret the way you're living right now, because you do not want to go out and experience life, and I just love that, the fact that it's lost in the moment, go out, enjoy life, you get one chance, go 100% and do shit with it, and I think NF and Andres, uh, Andres Mosk smash this shit, and it's one of the best fucking songs in the album, and it goes straight to it, this is it, on the fucking tier list, easy. Next up we got NF grinding featuring Marty, this one's short and sweet, keep it simple, this is the best definition of a hype song that you want, there's a lot, there's a good few hype songs NF has, I think this is the best one. This one's the one. Basketball, gym, run. As I've said before, I listen to it. This is my first option for all that. They both smashed it. They both got on, talked their shit, did their thing, hype you the fuck up, and that's it. And this one's going to fucking S tier because this is the best hype song that they NF has and is definitely the best hype song on the album. So it's going in S tier because it definitely gets me fucking pumped to do shit. So this is it on the tier list. Next up, we got NF Therapy Sessions, which is literally the name of the album. You knew this one was going to hit heavy. This is the type of one NF jumps on. He talks about his fans. He says, look, <clears throat> a lot of my fans relate to my music. They tell me that, they basically tell me, look, I self-harm. I relate to your music on a different level, and that's the reason I'm still here. He says, and I believe that, how do you think it feels to have fans come up to you and tell you that your music is the only reason that they're still alive because if they didn't have your music to relate to look up to and be like wow i'm not the only person going through this they would have you know done something not the smartest um and ended it all there and then where your music is the only reason they're still breathing on this planet he's like how do you think that feels like you would think that that would make you feel good because you're like oh i'm helping people but it also makes you feel like yeah, I'm helping people, but at the same time, people feel like this in general, and that fucking sucks, because obviously NF relates to that, and he's like, I know how it feels, and I don't want other people going through it. Um, and then he talks about how parents say that his uh, songs are violent, when he doesn't talk about drugs, he doesn't sexualize women, he doesn't talk about gangs, or shootings, or murderings, or killings, or anything. He talks about real shit, like mental health, relationship struggles, uh, faith, and god and all that stuff like they say is music violent i've said this before it's not violent it's more passionate and sometimes aggressive but not aggressive in the way of oh yeah fuck this fuck that but more aggressive in the fact of real like it's not it's aggressively real where he talks about shit and he says it how it is he doesn't sugarcoat it but it's definitely not fucking violent at all but I definitely enjoy this song. This song is really fucking good. There's a reason it is named after the album. It's like the Mansions one. Mansion was the best song in the Mansion album, in my personal opinion. This is one of the best songs on this album, in my personal opinion. And that's why it's going in. This is S tier, top of the playlist. Uh, 
yeah, that 100%, very good song. Then moving on to the last one. NF, How Could You Leave Us? I'm just going to be real. This one's going straight to S tier, and I'm going to tell you fucking why. This one is some of the best mix of everything that you need in a song. Genuinely. This song has it all. This song, this, I would say, right, Lost in the Moment, one of my favorites. In the S tier, Grinding is the bottom of the S tier. It's really good, but it's the bottom. Lost in the Moment, and what do you call the other one? Uh, Therapy Session, I'd say is tied at second. This, How, How Could You Leave Us, is my favorite song of the album. It's top S tier, 100%. This is my favorite one. Because he speaks on it about his mom addiction and all the struggles that she had and he had and all that. It has everything. It has the vocals. It has the rap. It has the real shit. It paints the fucking picture of words. You even see in the video NF tear up a bit because you see him basically talking about he lost his mom at this point. And you see him talking about like, you know, my mom went through these addictions with drugs, with alcohol. She constantly told us she was going to get over it. She was going to come back. She was going to take care of us. And we were all happy. But constantly, you know, I was being taken care of by, like, foster care, I think it was. Uh, she was supposed to come visit. Then she didn't. And then whenever she did, there would be a woman, you know, standing in the corner watching, like, we're strangers when you're supposed to be my mom. And you constantly let me down and didn't be a parent to me because you were fighting your addictions of drugs and alcohol. And the thing I love about this song so much is in most more recent albums, NF has spoke about how he has now learned to forgive his mum. At this point, he couldn't. He said, look, I'm not ready to forgive you yet. You know, you were not a good mum. You weren't there. You didn't do this. And now, like I said, in the most recent ones, he's understanding. Okay, I understand. She was fighting her own demons. And I'm going to... I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that. But at this point, this was his raw emotion saying, I don't understand why you couldn't take care of us. Why would you have kids if you're not going to take care of us? Why would you choose drugs and alcohol over us? Like, why would you let that do that? Why would you let that take you away? Because then I think he speaks about how she collapsed once, told them not to do it again, and then she did it, and then she was found dead. And he basically said those drugs and alcohol, you know, they took you from us, and you let them take you from us because you kept doing them. And I think it was a really good passionate song. And I, I, you know what? I think the song's even better now because I, I know in his most recent music that he forgives her. Because at the time, I know a lot of people said, yeah, but you need to understand how she was, that you, what she was going through, the battles. And I do agree with that. But you also need to understand his point of view. Uh, from an outside perspective, you view it as, yeah, she was going through her shit too. You know, it was horrible what happened then, but she was going through her shit too. But if you went through that shit, like obviously, I don't know if some of you watching this has went through similar shit. But if you if you've went through that shit, it's hard to think logically when you're so emotional about it. When it hits so close to home, it's hard to think, right? Let me think logically. You're thinking, no, that shit hurt. She did that to me. She stabbed me in the back, and it's hard to get over that. And obviously, like I said, he's progressed, and he started to forgive her, and that's great. But I think this is perfect, the perfect song, because he just speaks about the emotion. He's mad at her, but he also misses her. He says, look, I'm mad at you because you weren't the mum to me. But at the same time, like, I would give fucking everything in a heartbeat to get you back. Because although you weren't a mum to me, you still were my mum. And I want you back. And I just think it's a, it's very emotional. I remember reacting to it. Seeing NF cry on the video. I remember, like, sitting there and, like, you know, like, not much shit makes me emotional. But I remember, like, sitting there choking up a little bit. And I was like, shit. And I had to, like, take, like, a couple minutes to kind of just be like, right, I need to find words here. Because that shit, like... I haven't been through that shit personally, but that shit hit me. So I can't imagine how he fucking feels or people, other people who have went through that type of shit. So I definitely think it's the best album. Uh, sorry, song on the entire album, 100%. It's absolutely fucking amazing. And that's why it's going in the top of S tier, top of the album, top of the tier list, and that's it. All right, so now we're just going to take a quick look at the tier list before we end the video and see what's all in each tier. At the very top of the tier list in S tier, this is it. We got How Could You Leave Us, Lost in the Moment, Therapy Session, and Grinding. Move down to tier. We got Straight to the Place. We got Real, Oh Lord, I Can Feel It, Got You On My Mind, and All I Do. Then we move into the tier. It's All Right. We got Intro 2, I Just Want to Know, Statement, Breathe, and Wish You Wouldn't. Then in Not My Thing and Trash, we got Nothing, because NF is better than that, and he don't drop no bad songs. <laughs> 
He don't drop no bad songs. But yeah, no, that is my tier list overall. Like I said, the lowest songs were in tier It's Alright. And that's still, you know, that's, that's still good. <laughs> because there's no song, even the songs in the tier It's Alright, I still like, you know what I mean? So like, the fact that they were not in that Not My Thing or Trash, that's pretty fucking good in my opinion. But either way, that was my tier list. I'll put it up one more time. I'll lean away and put it up one more time on the screen right now. You see it? You see it? You see it? Yeah, you saw it. That was my tier list. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all agree with, what you think that you would change, what song you think's the best, what song you think's the worst. What would you change on the playlist? Agree and disagree. And yes, I will get around to the album very, very soon. Don't worry. We're getting back in the NF grind track. But either way, hope you all enjoyed. Think positive, test negative. Have an amazing day. Let me know your opinions. My brain shut down. Opinions in the comments down below. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless.